Hi, this is Travis, and today we're going to be talking about my solar production, March 2021. Let's do it. If you're interested in my solar system, uh, the size of it's 12.24 kilowatt. If you want to know the installation, how much it costs, all the incentives and all that, I'll put a link down below so you can watch the video on that. All right, real quick, um, I get a lot of questions on kilowatts and energy in a house. Some people don't know exactly how to read that. Um, when you're talking about energy for your house, it's normally measured in kilowatts. Um, kind of think of like a car going to a gas station. If you have a car and, you, and it has a 20 gallon gas tank, um, you go to the gas station and you put 20 gallons of gas in it. Um, your house, you fill it up with kilowatts. So just think of it kind of like that. If you want to know how many kilowatts your house uses, just check your electric bill. It'll show you for the month how many kilowatts you use. And if you add up every month, you'll know how many kilowatts your house uses for the entire year. Divide that by 12 months and you'll know your average uh, monthly kilowatt energy use. Divide it by 365 and you'll know your average daily kilowatt use. Very useful information when you're going to size your uh, solar system. All right, I live just above San Diego, California, in the Temecula Marietta Valley. Uh, my system is 12.24 kilowatts. It is 36 panels at 340 watts per panel. Uh, my panels face east-west with my largest array facing west. All right, well, just to show some people, on a completely cloudy day where it's completely cloudy, right to left, up and back, you can't even see the sun at all, I want to show on March 15th that around 11.30 a.m. I was producing at that time right around 2.84 kilowatts. And for the day, I produced over 28 kilowatts. So that just goes to show you on really cloudy days, um, you can still produce a lot of energy from a 12.24 kilowatt system. Also, I have a solar edge inverter. An inverter is what takes your uh, solar energy from your panels that is DC energy. It goes through your inverter that inverts it to AC energy so that you can use it in your house. Um, the most I produced on my inverter was about 11.16 kilowatts. Um, my inverter itself is can go up to 11.4 kilowatts, but I've only used 11.16 uh, kilowatts inverted so far, so that's pretty good. All right, well, this is my March production numbers inside the Solar Edge app. This shows, uh, yeah, the March 2021. And if you look close, most of the days were pretty sunny. A um, couple cloudy days there, but yeah, most of them were well above uh, 50 kilowatts. Past 60 kilowatts, and I'm pushing. I hit, I think I hit 69 kilowatts on one of the days. So yeah, as uh, the sun stays up longer, we uh, see longer days, so I get more production on them. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, I'm not using all this energy right now because I haven't been driving my electric car much. We haven't used much of the electricity, but with net metering, you send it all to the grid and then you pull it back when you need it. So this summer when I'm driving a lot more and our air conditioner, we will be uh, using a lot of those energy credits. So yeah, that's great with net metering, kind of using the grid as a battery, send it there and pull it back when you need it. So yeah, that works out. If we look inside the, uh, Tesla app, you, know, you can show, you know, we have 1,709 kilowatts for the month. That's uh, the same as the Solar Edge app. So, yeah, that's the total produced for the entire month. If we look at the year, um, January, February, and March, if you add them all up, it's 3,848 kilowatts. So, yeah, so far uh, for the year, that's that's quite a bit. I turned the solar on, I think, January 7th. So, from then till now, that's how many kilowatts I've produced so total. So yeah, so far everything's been working out pretty good as the estimates that I've thought were going to happen has so far. So yeah, we'll keep going through the year and see how it goes. Well, all right, that was my March solar production. Um, I'll put a link down below for my January and February production if you want to see that. I'll continue to do these videos um, all year long, month to month on my solar production. And I also do them on my electric bill with Southern California Edison. So if you're interested in that information, like and subscribe. And I have a Tesla uh, referral code down in the link in case you want to buy a car or solar and you can get some free stuff from them. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.